Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about how you should build Ruan May. But before we start with that, uh, I would just like to remind you that the pre-farm materials calculator is in the description down below. So feel free to check it out and see exactly what you will need for Ruan May. I do want to give you a big reminder to not do weekly boss on Monday of 25th December because we're getting a new Echo Wars boss next patch meaning ruin may will need the new boss material so make sure you do it on wednesday three times the new boss especially if you're getting ruin may otherwise it's going to take you a while to get her traces leveled up to highest level now let's go back to her build there are different approaches how to build ruin may but the most crucial important aspect to her is to aim for 180 percent break effect because the bonus ability increases allies damage by up to 36% based on every 10% of her break effect that exceeds 120%. So ideally, you want to reach 180% or at least as close to and then go from there. If you were able to reach 180% break effect, the next focus is going to be on speed. You will be able to get 134 speed just by equipping speed boots. So that's great however it is ideal to get more speed because her buffs are tied to her turn you might want her to be faster than the rest so they can immediately gain the benefit of her ultimate from turn one but not so fast that one of their turns may occur after her ultimate has ended i personally recommend not hyper focusing on reaching 180 percent break effect if you end up missing speed stats good speed breakpoints of course the lowest one is going to be 134 then you're going to have 143 which is also all right and if you can somehow manage to reach 161 that would be also great but i don't see that being as easily achievable for free to play players especially when you want to get a lot of break effect as well so let's say if you get close to 180 break effect or let's say 150 160 and then you have 143 speed you'll basically have four bonus actions over seven cycles and that's pretty good enough as well and you don't want her to overtake your damage dealers because then they potentially would lose the buffs when it gets to their turn if you do get it at 161 speed you will have five bonus actions over say over seven cycles respectively regarding speed stuff i will provide a speed spreadsheet in the description down below it will also be credited down there now that we got the break effect slash speed out of the way now let's go over her entire gear basically by going energy regeneration rate rope and five energy regeneration rate planetary set and meshing cogs s5 or memories of the past s5 if you happen to have that you'll be able to use her ult every three turns memories of the past s5 also has break effect so it's gonna be easier to build but if you don't have it don't worry about it meshing cogs is gonna perform perfectly fine i would also like to mention that meshing cogs nor memories of the past does not work with ruin may ultimate nor talent that coordinated attack does not count as an attack so it does not get you the energy i would also like to point another important thing that the thief set the three energy that you gain from thief it also does not work with her coordinated attack or anything like that she has to be the one doing the breaking even if the coordinated attack happens at the exactly same time as the weakness break occurred she will not get three energy as for set bonuses itself it's either going to be for set messenger traversing hack space or four set thief of shooting meteor or you could just go two piece of each i would say it literally depends what do you need more do you need to get more break effect or speed which one you're missing the most basically as for the main stats body is going to be either hp or defense fit it's going to be speed planner sphere hp percentage defense percentage whatever you have available that is as for link rope energy regeneration rate rope or break effect However, do keep in mind, if you change the link rope to break effect, you will not have three turn ultimates. As for substats, the most two important things is break effect 
and speed if you have anything else like let's say some hp defense so she's not a squishy that's fine regarding the orb or chest situation you might end up having a wrong main stat with a lot of break effect sub stat slash speed and sometimes that might be a better option as well because do remember having the hp chest and orb it just makes her more tanky nothing else and you have to also understand that ruin may can delay enemies a lot when you break them to really long amounts so potentially you might not even need her to be as tanky anyway and it's more important to get break effect slash speed starts as much out of it i would also like to talk about lightcon versus e1 option because i'm sure some of you guys want to know whether you should go for e1 e1 basically provides 20 percent defense ignore for your entire team when the ultimate is active as for the lightcon it does give you 60 percent break effect and also after you will use the ultimate it will increase your entire team damage by 24 percent for three turns and also if you do exceed above 150 percent break effect which will be very easy with this light con you will also recover one skill point another interesting thing is that at the start of each new wave you will immediately regenerate 10 energy for your entire team which one of these two options is better it basically goes like this basically the light con choice is a better choice because it lasts three turns compared to e1 which is two turns and it does offer more utility with sp and team energy however if you do care about zero cycling then e1 might be more enticing for you because uh, you're only going for within one cycle but if you don't care about zero cycling the three turn buffs overall will be more useful i also like to remind you that you neither need e1 nor lightcon for this character to be really good especially if they have memories of the past s5 you should not even consider going for her lightcon just use memories of the past and even if you don't have memories of the past s5 meshing cogs is going to work perfectly fine personally i don't recommend going for the light cons or eidolons of five star characters as a free to play or low spender because they constantly release two five star characters per patch meaning if you do want to get new characters in the near future you might not be able to get them so make sure you are aware of this if you're okay with vertical investment where you just play with same characters most of the time and you're not really looking to get that many new characters i think it's going to be fine however if you're someone who wants to get a lot of different characters then definitely don't touch light cons nor eidolons i guess uh, that's going to be all for this uh, video guys the next video is going to be about doctor ratio build guide as well and after that i will try also to get the shui build guide out there as well because she's also a very interesting character to build i would say just as a reminder i also stream on twitch slash youtube every single day so you can always drop by and ask me any questions or if you just want to chat i do love to talk a lot and of course uh, if you enjoyed this video also don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more honky style content i wish you a wonderful day and see you in the next video